Hey there, this is Sean from the Cams for Cambodia charity. We're about to head out on a Saturday bottle drive. We do this most weekends. Today's route has 20 houses. Luckily, we have volunteers out there that are taking care of most of those homes. And all the money that we raise today will be sent to families in Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, and South Africa. It'll go towards children's schooling and medical expenses. So let's head on our way. We're at Annie's place. Annie's been a regular customer for about, wow, five years now, I think. And Annie, even one time, uh, made some children's clothes that we took to Cambodia to give to the kids. So Annie, I just want to thank you for all your participation and, you know, why have you helped us so long? <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, it's just such a great deal for me. I can't drive anymore and so this is just great to have you pick this stuff up. And I appreciate the people that are being helped by it. <laughs> Thanks Annie. Okay. You're welcome. First, thank you so much from me and me live in Cambodia. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much from me. Mm -hmm. So me and my mom and the girl, we are, would like to say thank you so much for your support. You are very kind and very lovely person and you are very welcome to everyone to be in Cambodia. Thank you so much. I would like to wish you the good luck and successful and live in the South Peace and the healthy also. Thank you so much from me, Mangol, live in Cambodia. Thank you. Bye bye. <coughs> This is the system we have. Everybody just leaves in their driveway. We come pick up and and drive away onto the next house. So we line up all the customers, usually a couple days in advance. And then once the day comes, we just roll through the route and, and we get as many bags as we can. We are now at stop four on our bottle drive today. We're at Kamloops Art Party in North Kamloops. They've been regular donors to Cans for Cambodia. Uh, Carly and her family since the beginning of 2013. Jennifer's been on board for a couple of years. Uh, and Carly is in the unique situation of being the one donor that we have of hundreds who's actually been to Cambodia and has met one of our sponsor families. The first family that we sponsored, her name is Salorm, and Carly met Salorm. So Carly, let's just talk about that experience. Oh, it was really wonderful. Uh, we got such a different ex travel experience getting to meet Salorm and her family, how they live, uh, what the what the fundraisers and the cans actually do for this family getting to witness it firsthand was one of the most humbling experiences i had in that entire trip and jennifer you haven't met any of the sponsored families but you've been uh full-on supportive of the charity for the last couple of years oh yeah for sure yeah yeah i love it it's a good cause and why not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thank you to carly thank you to jennifer we are off to stop five <laughs> This is a big one, three big bags, a small one. We're off to the depot to meet the other volunteers. They were actually ahead of us, so they're already there uh, sorting everything. So I hope, I hope we're not too late and we can catch up with them. This is Steve. He's been one of the uh, volunteers that have been helping us for the last few years. And what really made Steve get involved was the one time where he got to talk to one of our sponsor families and he got to have a video chat with her and he got to see uh, how much it meant to her the help that we were doing. So Steve, uh, remember that time? We were out in Barnhart Vale and that happened. Explain the comp what we had, what happened. Well, we had a van full of uh, goodies in the back, probably about 20, 30 bags again. And she just called to see how things were going and basically we showed her what we were up to and she broke down and started crying and uh, she was speechless about you know what we're doing for her and her family and that's really what's driving doing this and this is why we want more people to help out so if you have the extra cans the extra bottles and they're just sitting in your driveway and they're not doing anything give us a call through either our uh, facebook accounts or whatnot there and we'll be happy to come take them off your hands they're going to a good cause Sean's a great guy. He's working 24 7, seven days a week trying to keep this My going. Second job, yeah. 
This is the express tablet here. And you punch in the phone number for the charity. That's my name. Yes. One label for each bag. So let's say we need six bags. And it prints out down below here. You put one sticker on each bag. You leave it with them at your respective depot. And that's it. They sort, and when they scan the code, it goes into the charity account, regardless of where in British Columbia you are. Hi, my name is Mina. I'm from Cape Town, and I'm 22 years old. I would like to attest to the amazing gesture that is Sean's bottle picking project that has helped me. Uh, when I was 17, I needed to get into college and I needed X amount of money and I reached out to him. He managed to raise $800 for me just by collecting these bottles. Fast forward to a year later, I needed to get into a training program and he did the same thing. He collected bottles and he managed to send me money. And friends, that, that, that has changed my life because I was able to go to school, I was able to get the necessary training, all because of this wonderful gesture. Um, all the way from Canada and I'm all the way in South Africa and I am forever grateful. Uh, this project is everything. It's helpful and it's, it's a gift. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, come love. Thank you. Thank you, Kamlap. Say again. Thank you, Kamlap. Yeah. Okay. Say thank you, Kam. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you, Sean, and thank you all to your friend that helped me while we took this year here. This year. My tuk tuk here, the motorbike. And that's it for another Saturday between myself, Steve, and Steve, and all the help that we had from Steve's family. We had three full bins, 21 homes, and we're guessing between $300 and $400 Canadian. And uh, we're hoping that people across Kamloops and across the province are interested in helping out these families in Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, and South Africa. And donate your bottles. And if you want to get rid of them, we'll come get them in Kamloops and anywhere else you can use your nearest Express Depot uh, using the procedure that we showed you in this video. Thank you.